Directed by John Cohen, we are talking The Hanged Girl, also known as The Haunting of St. Joseph's. And this is an Australian horror movie. And um, how to describe this? Well, we're going to use a metaphor here, because uh, I'm going to be somewhat vague in regards to the kind of the, uh, the plot synopsis here. But if I said to you, here, would you like this pizza? This is definitely a pizza. That should give me maybe some idea, maybe, what I'm talking about. What is the plot? Okay, so this focuses on a group of friends uh, as they are going to celebrate an engagement um, of uh, one of the a couple, basically, that, 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 are, that form this kind of group of friends. And the majority of them are doctors. It focuses primarily on one girl who is, um, who is a Muslim girl converted to Islam at some point in her life. Uh, don't know how uh, she's marrying a non-Muslim guy. I didn't think that was allowed with my limited, limited knowledge of Islam, but in this movie, it's happening. But anyway, uh, so they decide to visit this kind of uh, famous uh, St. Joseph's kind of guest house, which was apparently a, uh, a haunted hotspot. And we see in a prologue at the beginning, there was this kind of young girl that was hanged because she thought she, you know, they, these nuns thought she was a witch for some reason. And uh, ever since then, it's been, you know, rumored to be uh, haunted. So we have this kind of group of friends go to this kind of guest house. Um, but there's friction between these kind of friends. For example, the guy, the guy who's um, getting married, his sister doesn't like his fiance. And, you know, there's a little bit of xenophobia going on. Um, I think that's kind of, you know, rep rep meant to represent the persecution that these kind of witch trials were, you know, kind of going against these people who were getting hanged being witches. And, you know, this men and mirror, this kind of girl being persecuted because she's uh, a Muslim. But inevitably, there's some type of influence within this place and it's essentially making these people uh, be at odds with one another through various kind of uh, sort of interactions. Uh, what will happen? Well, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, what do we think? Again, I'm going to be vague because uh, the whole point of this movie is maybe um, you're going in thinking one thing and you're going to come out thinking something else, hence the metaphor. So, what do I think, what do I like about this film? It's nice to have, I mean, it's good to have, I think, a very different type of uh, protagonist in this kind of, this Muslim girl. Um, it's, it's a, so she's a woman who has converted to Muslim rather than being sort of Muslim all her life. Um, but it gives a, you know, a, a, a kind of a little bit of a different flavor, maybe to, um, to you know, to, to certain other horror films at least. Uh, and her kind of beliefs come in at odds with other people uh, and certainly things like you know, the, the hauntings and stuff uh, her religious beliefs are you know at odds to to be honest um, I like the fact that we have our you know our cast is mostly made up of the characters are actually all going to be kind of medical professionals all by one um, so it kind of gives um, you know these are meant to be intelligent uh, intelligent kind of characters at least um, and apparently it was actually filmed at a place called uh, St. Joseph's. So it was kind of filmed on location on this particular kind of, um, you know, area. Now, this is an Australian movie. I'm not familiar with whether the real St. Joseph is actually meant to be haunted or what have you. But yeah, it, it kind of gives it this kind of, um, at least partially filmed there, this kind of, uh, you know, somewhat of a, a cool kind of vibe when you're kind of seeing this kind of, you know what's where it's being filmed and everything like that um i think some of the characters are quite fun uh we have this kind of hitchhiker guy that they kind of pick up as well and i thought he was his character was kind of quite fun and uh you know he's not you know normally when you pick, see a hitchhiker he's some type of serial killer or something like that i like the fact that we did, kind of didn't really go there in kind of regards to that i thought there was an interesting dynamic between we kind of have a love triangle in a way we have the um the 
the guy and his fiance, and then, and then the guy's sister who feels threatened by the fiance. So it's an interesting uh, kind of style of um, love triangle. We often see love triangles in, in movies to kind of give it this sense of drama. But I don't remember seeing one quite like this, which was I thought was, was quite sort of gave it this kind of somewhat of an of a interesting kind of ideal there. Um, so you know the the there's that the performances. Some of it is okay. I have to say I think it's a little bit of a mixed bag. If I'm being honest, but I thought some of the performances were okay. Uh, you may have noticed I'm not talking much about the horror elements here. Well. Let me change this into what doesn't work in this movie. So, you're probably going to go into this film with certain expectations. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying those expectations won't be met. But, uh, I could be saying that. Uh, I'll leave it at that. But let me tell you what, what you should expect. People arguing. Oh, we love people arguing. People arguing for an hour of screen time. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that's kind of what this movie is. Uh, people arguing. We don't actually get any real threat to these people until over like 70 minutes into this movie. Um, and it's not a long movie. And when we do have, uh, you know, certain kind of things are revealed and, and, and we kind of find out what's going on, it may be a little bit of an anticlimax, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Uh, now, in an I, um, I will say, in defence of this film to a point, it's kind of clever and it's maybe, you know, subverting your expectations to a degree, but I don't know if necessarily it's going to hit in the way that people... Uh, the filmmakers maybe want. Um, there you go. Don't be expecting a lot of horror in this movie, is all I'll be saying. Um, as I've mentioned, I think the acting is a mixed bag. Some of it is fine, but I do feel there are some uh, some performances that are on the weaker side. Some sequences also appear to be very artificially sounding, like ADR'd. Uh, I'm assuming because they have filmed in like a kind of an older building, which is kind of like, you know, the acoustics and the echoes and stuff like that, it's not giving them a kind of a great sound. They re-recorded lines, but it, as such, it kind of has this like artificial feel in regards to some of the kind of the, um, uh, the, the, the audio. Um, when things are revealed, uh, again, I'm going to avoid spoilers here. I don't, I think you'd question maybe the, um, the, the legitimacy of what's happened uh, in regards to the effects of what you've seen on screen compared to the cause. And I feel as well, you'd feel somewhat kind of um, disappointed, or at least some people may, by the setup and um, you know what you actually get with this film. But it's a lot of kind of you don't really feel there's a lot of forward momentum in this film. It's, it's kind of like, as I say, people arguing for the majority of the time and then people having these kind of, these sexual kind of um, uh, feelings come out, which this is kind of, well, I don't know if that's necessarily uh, um, conducive of the situation. Again, I'm being vague. So, I have to be honest with you, I feel this movie's, one of its movies, one of this movie's uh, main critique is going to be it's not the film that you're going to be expecting. Um, but it's the film we got okay. I think it's a reasonable a reasonable kind of like uh, idea to kind of like, you know, change your expectations to a degree and think, oh, it's, maybe it's not what you thought. But it, ultimately, it's just, a, it's just a, a movie of people arguing. You know, it's kind of like, oh man, that's all there is to it. I like the idea of a kind of like, you know, this, the, the, the parallels between this Muslim girl getting persecuted compared to, you know, uh, like the, the kind of the witch trials and the kind of like the 19th century and all that. But there's, there's not much else to it. Um, it's ultimately uh, not a hell, of a hell of a kind of dense film in regards to subject and context and stuff. Um, I'd be dying to 
know what people's thoughts are with this film once they've seen it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, how to rate this film? I've got to be honest with you. The film that it is, I will give it a four out of ten. But I would, I would guess people will give this a lower score because they think it's going to be a film that it isn't. The film that it is, however, I'll give a four because I do think it's actually a reasonably clever, t clever twist. But I don't think people would appreciate it. There you go. Four out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.